Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com. This is my weekly look at gold futures. So first of all, I'm going to start off on the weekly chart. A lot of this won't change week to week, but the weekly chart we can see here, we've got a really strong narrow channel here. Really started from the lows back in uh, December 2016. We did have the big spike in gold there and reached $1,400, which seems to be a, a bit of a ceiling for gold at the moment. Then we pulled back down and then ever, ever since we've been in this really tight channel um, on the weekly time frame, heading back up to the, towards that $1,400 level. So this is the weekly um, picture. Um, what we'll be looking for really is trading opportunities within this channel. Uh, when it reaches the center line, find support or resistance and then the, the upper and the lower bounds of the channel. So let's see what that looks like on the daily time frame. So this is that same channel, but now on the daily time frame, I want to point out a couple of things here um, with this Elliott Wave Indicator Suite. This is the Ninja Trader version, but we do have it for Thinkorswim, TradeStation and the multi-chart trading platforms. We have our 6-4 moving average high, which is in green, and the 6-4 moving average low, which is in red. And very soon we're going to be adding a, a special false breakout stochastic strategy to this. Now, when we have something like gold that's um, really respecting our weekly channel on the daily time frame, there are really good opportunities to use this Elliott Wave Indicator Suite to trade those uh, movements from the upper and lower bounds of this channel. For example, very, very recently, we test we tested the upper bound, went slightly higher, made a new wave five high on a really strong bullish move from the 30th, uh, sorry, the from July 2017 to around about September 2017. We're in a really strong bullish move, but then came back into the channel and tested the lower bound. In this situation here, we're just basically looking to come back into the weekly channel. We're below the 6-4 moving average low, which indicates a good bearish move, and we could have traded it down to the center line. Then it came back up, would have taken a trailing stop out on the 6-4 moving average high, but then pushed back through the center line and eventually back down to the lower bound of the weekly channel. And then the recent bullish move, potentially starting a new uh, Elliott wave count here, uh, has gone from the lower bound of the weekly channel to the upper bound. So quite a strong bullish move. But again, look at the stochastic crossing over in the oversold zone here. We're bouncing off the lower bound of the weekly channel. We're through the 6-4 moving average high and it just keeps going all the way to the upper bound there to, to form an initial wave one. Pretty close to the high of that wave five there, around about 1371. From there, we did pull back on a wave two. Now, this wave two is at a major support and resistance level. If we look left here and we put on uh, another horizontal line, we can see this wave two is at a very, very strong support and resistance level there. Now, if this holds and we push back through and close above this previous wave one and this wave five high, we could be on the start of a third wave bullish that could attack this $1,400 level. So these are potential um, outlooks on this daily time frame here where if this center line holds and we start to move higher we could test this 1370 line go past the wave one and start a, a wave three so are there any trading opportunities right now not really on the daily time frame but if we go back to the 60 minute time frame now so we go intraday we can see on intraday this current pullback here. Remember, we're, we're around about the center line of that channel, uh, and we've gone pretty range bound leading into the uh, end of the uh, the trading week and the Easter weekend. Um, where we are right now is a really strong support and resistance zone on intraday. Uh, 
taking the wave count from the highs here recently in uh, the big zone there uh, we've had a long wave three which has found support here now we're looking for this move back into our automated pullback zones and once that's happened we will get an we will get an automatic um, an automatic target zone for the fifth wave now there's two two opportunities here we're going to look for remember we're looking overall on the daily and the weekly for bullish moves now if this wave four pullback breaks through our red zone here that bearish move has failed so we'd be looking for a potential long above 1342 if this wave three doesn't go any lower now if it does find resistance in our pullback zones and starts to move back down we'll be then looking for a potential short target unknown yet uh, because we need to find that resistance first so going from the weekly to the daily now to the 60 minute we can see there's a bullish bias overall with this um, so on intraday we will be looking for a breakthrough 1342 to break this shorter term bearish move that's found good support if this fails finds resistance uh, in our pullback zones here uh, and then turns back down we'll be looking for a shorter term short so that's it for this week as uh, week starting april the 2nd have a great trading week and i'll speak to you all next week